I guess the first thing I'd do is to say, to turn off the email and go for a walk with the dog. Because often you need to think about what the reviewer is telling you and you need to perhaps relax and take yourself outside the pressure cooker of science. Do not email anyone straight away, right? Give it two, three days, right? Let it all calm down. You'll go back to it with a more logical head. Don't deal with it straight away. Um, that's because I've been, I, I have been there. I have been that, that, you know, especially when I was younger, right? I've, I've been that person like, <gasps> right? It, it never works well. It never benefits you any shape or form. Uh, I think that the best advice is to not take it personally and to allow those reviews to sit for a little bit of time because it is difficult not to take it personally. Uh, you've been working on this project for many months, in some cases years. Uh, but let it sit for a little bit, then go back and as objectively as possible read those reviews and again Look at those reviews as, you know, this is a vehicle by which I can improve my science and improve the story that I'm trying to tell. So it's important to every tip, every, every, um, every piece of information you receive from your, your paper, whether it's from the editor or whether it's from the, uh, the, the referees, you need to read that very carefully, uh, figure out what they're saying, and then trying to decide for one or another and then go back to the chalkboard and, and make it happen. At least consider the possibility that the reviewers might be right. It's hard, I realize it. Um, but if you actually want to get published there or somebody else, somewhere else, the one thing that I can be pretty much sure if you try to blow the reviewers off is not going to work. Um, and so uh, you have to say, if you say the, the reviewer is wrong in that one, you better have some really, really good scientific argument. Sometimes they are wrong, but then it's up to you to prove it. If you feel it's important, go ahead and write a letter to the editor explaining everything that you, that you did right and why the reviewers were wrong, but don't send it. I've actually gotten responses that are completely inappropriate that are sent within the first hour. Just don't send it. So if you have to send it, uh, a, a letter, think on it for a couple days. Now, that, that said, you'll find that the journal editors these days, as opposed to 10, 20 years ago, uh, are in many cases much more receptive to hearing about a legitimate rebuttal. So if you believe you are legitimately been wronged and the referees have pointed out large criticism that is just not fair, personal attack, factually wrong, um, at least with ACS publications, I found that you have someone, an audience that will listen. You know, I'm going to be provocative and I'm, I'm going to say that people shouldn't avoid rejection. Because if you never get a paper reje rejected, it sort of suggests that you're throwing your papers out to the journal where they're safe. Now, occasionally we need to put our science into different venues to generate new discussion, to generate new feedback. So actually I get quite upset if I don't get papers rejected periodically because it means that I'm not looking for diversity in those comments and a new learning into my science.